Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of the, the White Belt Wednesdays. In this one, I will discuss a very common problem with the triangle. A lot of people, uh, in the beginning, they get smashed from the triangle, uh, they can't finish it because people are putting weight on them, or maybe people even can escape from there. So today I'll show you a really important detail to uh, stop getting your triangle from being smashed and uh, even increasing your finishing rate as well. So a very common problem when you're locking the triangle is when people stack you. Look at my knee. Uh, I should my knee is closer to my face uh, it's closer to me than my hip. When you, whenever you're in a triangle, you're setting up a triangle, your goal is to have your knees and hips in line, or even your knees further away than your hips. So now you see my knee is closer than my hip, but I want to move away, move away, lock it again, and look how my knees are further away from me than my hip. That's a really important concept. Now the triangle is already locked on, it's gonna be really hard for him to stack me anymore. If he tries to stack me now, I can just pull my, back on my head on the, on the mat and keep walking back with my shoulders. So, get the triangle, Steve puts pressure into me here, so here it's really hard to finish, I almost can't do it. So I want to get my hands inside, frame it, now I just walk back on my shoulders until the knees are further away from me than my head. Now I can just rearrange my triangle, lock it up and get the finish. Another really important detail uh, for the finish is getting under his neck. So we lock the triangle, Steve is going to stack me, I'm going to move away so my knees are further away than my hips. Now I can. Lock the triangle, and to finish I like to get all the way under him, and now I squeeze. So I want to get an underhook on his leg. This also avoids Steve standing up. So if I'm here, Steve can just stand up, and if he's very strong he can lift me up and like, get out of the triangle. But if I underhook his leg, he can't stand up anymore. And he has to tap. Okay, so now I'll show you guys some videos of uh, one of the, the best triangle artists of this, this moment, Ed, Ed, Edwin Najmi. And he's going to show you guys these principles as well. He keeps his knees further away than his hip, and he likes to go under the leg to finish the triangle. Alright guys, thanks for watching, hope you liked that, uh, that little detail, uh, it's going to help you a lot when you get the triangle, so think about the two rules, knees further away than your hip, and underhook the leg for the finish. If you like the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, um, share it with your friends, and if you want your own videos analyzed, just click on this link, and I'll, uh, I'll give you a personalized analysis, and if you just need one little tip, or maybe you just want me to see your match, drop a, drop a link in the, in the, the comments below, and I uh, might use that next uh, video for the next White Belt Wednesdays. Thanks for watching. Thank you.